Hi, Joe. Thank you for um, giving us uh, the, uh, this interview. Um, this is the second time that um, we have this um, uh, conference. Um, I understand that uh, there are about 200 participants. Um, any chance that you could give us an update? And um, well, like you said, this is the second Shark Fest. Um, I, uh, due to scheduling constraints, you know, we, we well, well, first off, this Shark Fest is at Stanford University. I've never been here, and, and I must say that this is a gorgeous campus, and, and this was a really great place to, to have the, the conference. Um, uh, we have fewer people this year. Um, I'm not sure if that's due to the economy or the fact that we uh, uh, conflicted with a, a large HP conference, <laughs> but that was a lot of feedback that we got. Um, but uh, the conference went great. Uh, we, uh, we hold this each year to, uh, you know, to get Wireshark users and developers together and to, to um, you know, let the community feet, meet face to face because it is such a large distributed community. And, uh, and uh, I, you know, last year was a great success and this year was a great success and, and I'm really happy about that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Any difference in the, in, in the, in the participants? Uh, Kind of what's the mix? What's the mix between uh, developers and, and users this time? Um, the vast majority of the users are, are, are general you know, users, and the conference track, you know, the, the, the talks reflect that. But uh, you know, we do have uh, last year and this year tracks that were limited to developers only, and they were pretty well attended. The uh, I think one notable exception exception was uh, um, the very last session we were competing with both Laura Chapel and Betty Dubois for, for the general user sessions and, and <laughs> we maybe had a dozen people but uh, that, that was fine and, you know we were more than happy you know, mm -hmm, yeah and um, so give us the status of um, uh, uh, the uh, Wireshark now okay. I, I, last time we talked uh, you had just released 1.0 mm -hmm. uh, this time we released 1.2 uh, Last year and this year, I tried to time a release with the uh, with the first day of Shark Fest. I'm not sure if I'm going to continue doing that. We'll we'll have to see. Uh, it, it it does add a bit of extra work, and um, you know it, it may be better to to do the release. You know, well, just not do it at the same time. This new release is, is great. It uh, has a lot of great new features. Uh, in particular, a, a cool startup slash page when you start the program that uh, gives you a lot of functionality. And uh, you know there there are a bunch of other great new features too. There are just too many t to talk about. But uh, if you are a Wireshark user, if you're interested in using Wireshark, I encourage you to pull down 1.2 and, and try it out. It's a it's a you know it, it is a really well polished release. One of the things that I notice is when talking to um, some of the conference participants is that the, the Wireshark is really becoming the the best of class. I mean, this is in the past, you know, people. If they if they use Wireshark, is because for one reason or another they, they couldn't get access to commercial tool. But it seems is is that just is do you think that's the right uh, right observation? I don't know if that's a recent phenomenon. Uh, I mean, I, I remember years and years ago, you know, when, even when we were still Ethereal, I would you know we'd get a pretty steady stream of email from people saying, you know, you know, Ethereal does this and all these other commercial products don't. So, mm -hmm. and, you know. And some, you know, we, we kind of pushed ahead feature by feature and, and established ourselves as a, as a really great product. And, and you know, as time goes on, you, you, you keep doing that and, and pretty soon you are going to be best of class. Yeah. And I, you know, as a former vendor, I just know that a lot of people gave up competing with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, uh, 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 I got to meet this time around the founders of Network General. And I was joking the other night that neither one of them punched me, so I felt good about that. <laughs> but no, they, they're actually great guys, and, and I was very glad to meet them, and, mm -hmm. and, and that was a really cool thing. Mm -hmm. It was a, kind of a, a highlight, I think. Now, now you, you have a day job, too, in addition to being the, the, the key developer for Wireshark, which is an open source tool, but you're also um, a key uh, contributor for a commercial company. Um, I, I I try to help out with uh, you know cases commercial products where I can, but uh, my my main focus is really on Wireshark. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. I like to joke that I'm the head janitor uh, because <laughs> I, I do do a lot of the the grunt work, uh -huh. you know, in making the uh, the project go. I, I, you know, the, there's a lot of the of administrative overhead that has to happen, and uh, uh, and I'm the one that takes care of that for, mm. for you know the, the most part. Would you? I th th there's um, so Casey is also a sponsor. 
to um, Shellfest. Oh, Kate, well, Case is the one that, that is throwing Sharkfest. I mean, we right. do have a number of sponsors, but right. Case is the one that organizes it, right. and, and we do pay the, uh, I, uh, well, I'll have to check with the, uh, some other people, but I'm pretty sure we pay for the bulk of the, yeah. the content. Now, a year ago, uh, Case had just released a commercial software that adds value to um, Wireshark. Yes. Do you mind talking about that product and how I, that's going I on the parallel mind, track? Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll be glad to talk about it. Uh, the, the product is, uh, is Case Pilot. It is a, uh, 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 an analysis and reporting and monitoring tool that, uh, in, well, in a lot of ways, complements Wireshark. Um, whereas Wireshark is very, very, very good at showing you every last bit of every last byte in, in a capture and, and what, what those bits and bytes mean. Uh, Pilot gives you initially a very good overview and very easily lets you drill down to specific data that you may need to, to look at and examine further. You can then pass that data onto Wireshark or you can you know, do, do more analysis within Pilot. Within Pilot you can also do a lot of reporting where, you know, that Wireshark doesn't necessarily let you do. And, and the, the, the two products really, really do complement each other very well and I, I'm, I'm you know, proud to be involved with both of them. And, and we hear a lot about uh, both this time. Yes. Yeah. Well, we, we have just a few more minutes left. Uh, okay. I, I don't want to hit the YouTube limit here. <laughs> <laughs> you want to um, kind of give us a, a glimpse of what you have planned for next year? And, you know, of course, a year from today, you know, there will be world peace and we're completely green <laughs> and, and the economy will be running, booming again. <laughs> um, I, I, I think, well, I'd like to have more shark fest. I, I love this. This is great. I, I love you know bringing all these people together, being, being able to do that. You know, bring everybody together and, and you know meeting face to face. And uh, I, I think it really helps to further you know not only wire shark along, but but uh, you know the community as well in, in case. And, and I think it's a great thing. Um, I, uh, I I don't have any specific details. We you know probably won't be you know nothing is really going to gel for for several months. I assume. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So um, you're going to plan to keep it uh, in the Bay Area again? Um, I don't know. There, there is a push from you know the, the European contingent for a European shark fest. Anywhere between South of France and South Italy would be a good idea, <laughs> I think. Um, the, the Italian Alps have been suggested. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's where a lot of uh, uh, members of CASE come from. Yes, and, uh, yes. Yes. Um, in, in fact, one of the, the two well, let's parts. let's not get people so too high sure, here. Sure, yeah. <laughs> but exactly. you know, at least if not next year, I'm sure. Um, yeah. You know, there there a pattern will emerge, where sure. at least once a while we'll be doing it in a different continent. No. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, there are a lot of advantages to having it here in the Bay Area, just because um, you know there there are so many people who can just show up you know, because they're nearby. Uh, but uh, I I think there are also advantages to having it. Um, you know, what some people suggested the East Coast. I, I, I think that would be a, a good possibility as well as both Europe and Asia. Um, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. you know, I, I, I wouldn't mind going to you know several shark fest a year myself, but yeah, uh, yeah. I, I don't know that you know we, we quite have that much you know that much in the way of resources. You know, okay. we're, we're not Oracle or Microsoft or HP, so uh, okay. or, or even Cisco. So. Okay. Good, good. Thank you, Joe. Listen, uh, one last time. Uh, how about a shout out to the two million users that I, that couldn't come today? Um, I, 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 I said this twice today, and I will say it again. I cannot thank you all enough for all the support that the user community has given over the years, and to the developer community. Um, I, I love working with the, the team of developers that we have. They, uh, I, I, I cannot say it often enough, but the, you know these are better developers than I by far, and uh, I'm very fortunate to be able to, to work with the, the developer and user community, and, and even Case. Uh, Case has a wonderful team, and uh, I'm glad to be able to work with them as well. Well, on behalf of the two million users who couldn't be here today, thank you, Gerald. Oh, thank you. Uh, my pleasure. <laughs> <laughs>